Uh, I'm Jeff Grasso, <laughs> and I have the pleasure of watching my Speed Freaks part from 19 something or other. Oh man. <laughs> Why you make me do this shit? God, you know, you just want to forget your youth, right? <laughs> you just want to forget. Wipe it all away, wipe the slate clean. Speedwell Santa Cruz. I believe three days or so before this footage was shot, I turned 21. I spent my 21st birthday freebasing cocaine for two days straight in my room alone. And then I slept for 24 hours. And when I emerged from my room at Steve and Mickey Alba's house, who were supposed to be helping me get off drugs, they took me out for Mexican food and I didn't really have much of a stomach to be eating food at the time. So I sat and drank a couple of pitchers of margaritas and then we came back to the house. This happened and decided to have fun in the bathroom and I thought it would be neat to cut my hair into a, a mohawk and shave my eyebrows off a la Richie Stouts, the guitarist for the Plasmatics was what we were going for. And then I go see my mom, you know? you know, I go, mom, check out my new style, my new fashion, I'm on the forefront of fashion. She's all, what? Jeff, what are you doing? I go, mom, I don't know, but I'm at the forefront of it. So all you assholes that come up to me and think that it's rad to uh, repeat that line, like somehow I'm gonna like that, it's incredibly painful to uh, listen to you. Having said it, now knowing the backstory of it, um, could you please stop? You're embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing me. I was an incredibly arrogant little prick, man. What's really sad about this is, although this is kind of funny, right? Like I had so many kids shave their eyebrows and it was supposed to, you know, very Bowie-esque. It was supposed to be Richie Stouts though. I think I'm saying his name right. Smoked a bunch of bong hits. Got a meal in my body. Just feeling a little bit better watching Bonanza. I like to remember myself as being cool, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't think I was that cool. Uh, my friends tolerated me, as friends will do. We didn't take three to seven years to film a video part, okay? We did it in a day. So, with that disclaimer, basically get a run of me. Which, you know, yeah, 50-50, <laughs> invert, ugh. Oh, and it's super hard to skate without eyebrows, because the sweat goes right in your eye. The sad part about it is I had this incredible opportunity to, to make this video part and I'm, you know, hung over and half in the bag. And my video part in this pretty much sucks, I'll say. It's horrible, in my opinion. Just because I know what I was capable of then and I wasn't producing it on this day. Pay today too. It's just about time to go get the mail. Pay time. Alex Sorgente skating in the park last night and he's got his earphones in it and um, I go, hey man, what are you listening to? He's a really good pool skater, you know, young kid. He's all eight days, you know, and I kind of nodded my head like I knew what he was talking about. And he goes, you know that band you skate to in Speed Freaks? And I don't know. I, people come up to me and ask me all the fucking time, dude, it's a song you skate to in Speed Freaks, man. today's payday, did it? I don't know, I didn't pick the music. I just said the stupid quote about getting paid. And the song's kind of gay. It's not the greatest tune in the world, in my opinion. And that's how I know it's eight days, because I just had this talk with Alex Sorgente last night, and he let me know that he was skating to eight days, today is payday. Because he's, I guess, a fan of old skateboarding. I felt really foolish and stupid and tried not to let him know that uh, I had no idea what he was talking about. So yeah, speed freaks. That's just how, how I'm going about things, is like going out skating as much as possible, skating all day and you know, get to a spot and you're psyched and you're, you got all your bros there and it's like, that's the spark and then you get your clip.